again, some of you again may not know who Lil Bibby is. But we do know attention seeking when we see it. We know bitterness when we see it. I've told y'all this. I told y'all that some of these women, um, when they can't have you, they will get on social media and they will try to blast you, right? They'll try to go after your the new girlfriend. Because they don't they feel like you shouldn't be with her. You should you know, you shouldn't be with a new chick, you should be with you know, should be with her. You know, that's how they act, that's how they feel. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times I think that when in our society, when you are dealing with women who are you basically are using you to get to where they want to get to, they're going to be with you as long as they can be with you. And then they're going to drop you. And that's what happens when you deal with these industry women. They're going to use you for as long as they can use you for. And when there's nothing to really use you for anymore, they're going to push you to the side. But if they can't get much out of you and you leave them, they're going to feel some type of way. It's almost like they want to be the ones that walk away from relationships. Right. Make sure y'all like the stream too. Like, what's going on? What are you waiting on? So, in today's day and age, nothing surprises me anymore. I have talked about any and every issue that we've dealt with in our society. But I think one of the number one things we have to deal with is bitterness with these exes. They can't have you, so they want to make sure they mess up any situation that you have, right? They want to make sure that they they compromise whatever it is you have going on and try to shame you by saying you're obsessed with white women. No, no, no. Listen, man, most guys that I know that have, I would say, something like a career, uh, they, they make it have a good living. They choose women based off of those women who fit their lifestyle, right? They're not choosing a woman just based off of the skin tone. They're not doing that. I just think that you got some guys, again, you got the guys that like to go overseas, you know? You got the guys that are about pushing this narrative that, that uh, melanated women aren't dateable. You have that segment that feels some type of way about the melanated woman and they will put the Caucasian woman on the pedestal. But that's a very, very small amount of guys. But again, that's their decision. But a lot of guys that I know that have success, they're going to choose the best woman who fits their lifestyle. A lot of times when you come from something to nothing, you're going to try to change the type of women that you deal with. And that that's that particular type of woman that you were used to, you may feel like doesn't fit whatever it is you got going on. Right? So, when I see these women get on social media and they want to throw around the, you just want a white girl. You're upset. I've had females tell me that. I've had females come here and just because... I have pictures up of melanated women. They just assume that I hate them and that I must only date Caucasian women. I remember one time I did a live stream and in the comment section, somebody asked me, um, what is your dating preference? Do you, you know, as if they want to know whether I like, black females or Caucasian females? Like, why are we asking those questions? What does it have to do with anything? You have a lot of women on this platform who all they do is talk down on melanated men, but they themselves are uh, obsessed with Caucasian men. Are you going to ask them what their preference is? I mean, to make the videos, not just here, I'm talking about on these blogs, I'm talking about everywhere on social media. They say some of the worst things you could say 
about us, but y'all don't go and ask them what is their dating preference. What, you know what 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 race of the person that they normally date. Y'all don't go and ask them those questions, but you come to me when I don't even make my videos about white and black. If it happens, and it happens, if it if it fits what I'm speaking about, I may bring it up. But at the end of the day, I don't care who you date. I don't care who you date. You can date whomever you want. That matters not to me. But they want to make it into a situation where just because you are critical of said women, that means that Europe's, you know, you you hate them and you want to date the alternative, which is Caucasian women. Not understanding me or my background, I could be from a different country for all you know, right? But the shaming is still there. How, how can you sit up there and shame somebody because you dated them, they didn't want you, and they left you? You need to move on. I mean, the rant that this female went on, let me see if I can get the... I mean, she went on this rant as if this guy did her completely dirty. No, he just moved on to somebody. And you're talking about how the female doesn't look better than you and all this. It's always that situation where um, where they want to measure themselves on the next woman, right? they constantly trying to measure themselves. It's like these guys that measure themselves to other guys. I don't measure myself to, to any guy. I am my own man. I don't I don't seek to measure myself against anybody. I never had a reason to. But you will have, let's see. Let's see some of the things that she's saying. Hold on. Pull this up. And this is via, was it Black Sports Online? I think that's the name of, of the website. This is some of the stuff she's saying. Because he retweeted Paul Pierce. <laughs> he retweeted Paul Pierce. I can't lose even when I lose, I'm winning. Lil Bibby here said, choose wisely. Then she says, um, let's see, I guess, uh, where's a lie? I guess Dizik already small and he want me to share it with other females. No, indeed. I just can't be with you and only you. This guy don't mean Anything to me though. Females be cool with being nothing but a nut to a guy. Let's see. You is an example of what not to do. Relax. I look way better than them. I don't care. Whoever talking to my ex need to do a better job. You have no code. You are goofy. What type of guy is going to buy a female a house that ain't even his and live at his own girl house rent and bill free? Who be raising y'all to think this is cool? You better go live with that white chick, sir. My ex is the biggest hater, bro. This guy really poured a bottle of water on my head while I was getting ready one day and ripped out ripped my wig out the next day just cuz he ain't want me posting pics on IG a goofy i don't care what a guy does you know i got to watch my words here y'all know these females have such a filthy mouth anyway i want my guy to pat a female on the head and say nah i'm straight i got a girl Man, come on. You know he ain't going to do that. <laughs> you know he ain't going to do that. Uh, let's get to the comment where she talks about, 
Okay, here it is. My ex really brought a white female, a whole mini mansion, and the guy himself was living with me. His mom don't even got a house that big. Uh, dudes are really effing dumb, bro. And she replied to somebody that says, I guess guys who like white women are not to trust. Uh, obsessed with white women. That's the comment here I wanted y'all to see. All right. So y'all can't say, well, Jane, what are you talking about? This is what I'm talking about. This is what you call hurt feelings. This is what you call being bitter. This is what you call not being able to move on. And this is exactly why she's, she, you know, she feels the way she feels. Now, listen, I truly believe that Bibby knows that she's an industry chick and he kind of played her. You know, she thought she was going to play him, but Bibby ended up playing her. You know, Bibby ended up playing her. So because... She felt like Bibby played her. Now she's on a rampage on social media going on this rant. When they're not even together because she feels like she got played in this situation and she really didn't gain, gain, gain as much as she thought she was going to gain. That's that ego, man. Listen, move on. If, if he doesn't want to be with you, why are you even paying him that much energy? Like, what's the point? What's the point of paying that much energy to a guy who clearly does not value you? A guy who clearly doesn't want to be with you like that. Like, why even... Spend your time even putting all that energy. You know, I retweeted something on Twitter today. And it said, anyone who manages to provoke you has conquered your mind. I agree with that. You're not, listen, man. You can't just be on social media going off because the guy that you were with is no longer with you. He's with these, he's with these other women who you think, He's with them because they look better than you. They may be fully Caucasian and you feel some type of way. Yeah, you got a racially ambiguous female talking about how much he likes another group of women when she might be almost, she might be halfway part of that group. She might be halfway part of that group. So just understand that if a guy doesn't want you, he's not going to stay with you. And you should understand that. But these chicks think that they think that they finally got somebody that wants to stay with them. You know, she, she done been with this basketball player. She done been with this R and B singer. She done been with this rapper. Now all of a sudden she's, she's with this, this rapper and she thinks that she finally has that celebrity relationship she's always wanted only for him to say i don't want to be with you like that i don't want to be with you like that 